It's been said that After Effects is the program that was made to do things that it's not made to do. And in most cases, that's absolutely true. It's amazing what you can create with this software. But I don't think I'm the only person who would say that After Effects has no business whatsoever in the world of audio. Regardless, there are a number of audio effects in After Effects, and because I have to make this series complete, we're gonna look at each one of them in this video. Now, most of these affect audio, so I recorded a clip of myself saying, effects of After Effects, in a ridiculous way. I'm gonna double tap the L key on that footage so I can see the audio waveform down here, and we're just gonna go down the line. First, I'm gonna add the backwards effect, which does nothing to the video, it just reverses the audio, and we even see that reflected in the waveform. Let me give myself a little bit more room so we can see that more clearly, and I'll play it back. Now, generally, you wouldn't be using a backwards effect on top of footage that isn't reversed as well, but I guess you could make the argument that you're applying this to an audio clip, not a video clip. The only control we have of this effect is to swap the left and right channels for what that's worth. I'll delete that effect and then put the next one up, which is bass and treble. This simply gives you a bass and treble control just like you would on a car stereo or your desktop speakers. So I could turn the bass way up and the treble way down low and we're gonna get something that sounds like effects of After Effects. Or I could crank them both way up and we'll get something that sounds effects like effects of After Effects. All right, that's it for bass and treble. Let's add the delay effect. Effects, effects of, after, of effects, after Effects. Of after effects. effects. So kind of like an echo, I can turn the milliseconds down to say 100. Effects, effects of after, after effects. effects. I can turn the delay amount down. Effects of after effects. I could adjust the feedback. Effects, effects of after effects. effects. And I have controls for the dry out and wet out. Effects of after effects. Which drastically changes how it effects sounds. Effects of after effects. All right, that's the delay effect. Flange and chorus is next. Effects of after effects. There are lots of precise controls for the sound. Effects of After Effects. 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 Play around with that as much as you want to see how that affects your audio. Next up is High Low Pass. So we can choose whether we want to do a high pass or a low pass. I do not know that much about audio, so I'm not even going to attempt to explain what these exactly are doing, but I know they can be used to remove noise. Effects of After Effects. For this specific clip, it doesn't really do any good. Next up is Modulator. Effects of After Effects. Which is like the wave warp effect for audio. Effects of After Effects. Effects of After Effects. And you can switch between sine and triangle. Effects of After Effects. So that's modulator. Next up is a parametric EQ, which is kind of hilarious to me that we have this much control over our audio inside of After Effects. Again, I don't know that much about audio, so I'm not going to try to explain what's happening, but this effect allows you to make modifications to specific parts of the frequency in a very controllable way. Next up is reverb. Effects of After Effects which is similar to delay, except it gives more of an ambiance to your audio. You can use this reverb to make audio sound like it's in a bigger or smaller room than it was actually recorded in. Next up is Stereo Mixer, which allows us to increase or decrease the left and right channels levels independently, as well as the left and right pan independently. So if I put them both to negative 100, effects of After Effects, then I only have audio coming into my left channel, not into the right. And then finally, we have Tone, and this is the only effect in the audio category that actually generates audio, overriding what you've put it on. How was that on your ears? I can only imagine that the After Effects engineers that originally created these effects threw them in here because they could. Yes, these are all keyframeable values. You could link them with expressions to visual aspects of a composition and generate weird trippy sounds. But as for me, I'm going to leave the creative audio side of my motion design to the audio designers. And that is all of the audio effects in After Effects. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.